Episode 3 of the FRC Job Tutorials. This is Alan Oden, lead programmer for Team 3313 for the 2013 build season. This episode we will be covering Jaguar and Victor motor controls. From a code standpoint, they're pretty much the same thing. <coughs> they're both defined the same way as most other objects. Uh, Victors just defined the same way as joysticks are pretty much, except you put in the port number instead. We're going to treat this as if it were our second robot, Murphy, and we're going to have the first Victor control be our hopper, which collects the balls for the 2012 build season game. I apologize for any background noise. We are actually down in the shop today recording. Again, you're going to, to want to control shift i to fix all the imports. Now down here in the teleop periodic, you're just going to want to add in something down here. Now we're going to set this up using our secondary joystick, which we're calling shoot stick. And we're going to have it so that when the button number one is pressed, oops, that's wrong code there. When the button is pressed, we're going to have it fire the hopper upwards at a rate of 1. You're going to get the button here by typing uh, shootstick.getrawbutton and then you put the button number in right here. Now in here, this is where we're going to actually make the hopper do its work. Just type hopper.set and since we want it to go at a speed of 1, you type 1.0 because it does take decimals. Now, we also want it to be able to go backwards, so we're going to have button 2 make it go backwards. You can only put an else if, which means that if the first one is not happening, you, the second set here will instantize. Again, you're going to want to do a get raw button, but for button 2. Now in here, it's pretty much the same thing. Except we're going to want it to go backwards, we're going to put a negative one. Now, if we were to leave the code just like this, as soon as we let go of either of the buttons, it will always be going. So we also need to have it turn off when neither of the buttons are being pushed. So we're going to add a final else here, which makes it so that if neither of these are happening, it will do this instead. So we're going to set the speed to zero. And that's how you set up uh, Victor motor controls. Now, Jaguar controls are the same thing from a coding standpoint. Except instead of Victor, you put Jaguar. <clears throat> and we're going to name this one Hopper 2 because we're just, for the sake of this code, we're going to put it as the second Hopper here. Now something I actually forgot to mention up here, these are the same ports as the drive control. So you want to make sure it's not overlapping. We're going to map this to port number 5 and the Jaguar to port number 6. Again, you're going to want to fix all your imports. Now just to show you that it's pretty much the same thing, if we were to use a Jaguar control instead of a Victor, it's all of the same options here. So it's again, you just set the speed. I'm not going to put in all the code again there because it's uh, take up, it's just taking going to take up space. Now from here, if you were to push either of the buttons, it will make the hopper go. But uh, when code gets a little bit more complicated and you might need to alter some of these numbers a little bit, it's going to get a little annoying to actually find everything. So we're going to want to add in a variable at the up at the top here. And we're going to call this hopper speed. We're just going to have this equal to 1.0 because that is the speed that we all we have it at right now. Now, when you're creating floats, you would need to add the letter F after it to let it know that it is a float and not a double, which is a different kind of number that uses decimals. Now down here, we're going to change this from 1 to hopper speed. And down here, from negative 1 to negative hopper speed. 
Now, th we're doing this, like I said before, so that if you have to change one thing, you don't have to go through and change everything. Say one is going way too fast and it's making too much noise and it's concerning. If that's going too much, just drop to 0 0.5. And that's changed the speed for every instance that it is using hopper speed. You want to save here. Alt Shift F formats all of your code so that it's spaced out neatly. This concludes the tutorial for basic motor controls for Jaguars and Victors. Next episode, we will be covering pneumatics and spike relays.